Hey everybody, hope everybody's having a good day, or at least a little better than it is out here in southwest Virginia. It's uh, high, uh, it says 36 and it's windy, it's a little less than fun. All right, well, I wanted to get in and do a little uh, tip of the week. So, one of the common mistakes a lot of people make when they first get into timber framing is uh, they'll go through and not use a common reference face and their cuts are off. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, if I'm looking at this beam right here, or in this case, this is my post. So, I want to go through and make a mortise in it. All right, so I'm going to cut a mortise. Well, first thing I do is I plane them. All right, get me a nice smooth edge that's straight that I can use as a reference for my marking tools. All right, in this case, my wife got me a uh, woodpecker's uh, carpenter square for uh, Christmas last year, so I'm using it. But any kind of uh, carpenter square, any straight edge that you want to use a work, Borman's tool. All right, well, let's say I'm going to put it dead center. So three and a half. All right, so it's going to be a two inch wide tenon. I'm going to go up here. Let's mark it. I'm going to go over four and a half. Mark that. Okay. And then come up. Okay, so there's my cut spot. A little bitty spot, but you get the idea. All right, so that's where I'm going to go in and cut. Well, ideally you want that to be dead center. It's pretty hard with most tools to go through and do that because the beams and everything we're getting when you plane it down is not going to easily line up dead center or even if it's rough cut it's still not going to like to line up dead center so having a reference face so i picked this side okay so what i want to make sure i do is everything that i mark off for this post comes off of this side this is my reference face for everything else i do on it okay likewise lovely wind there hopefully you aren't getting too much breakup likewise when it comes time for my tie beam what i want to do is go get this. i want to make sure that i pick which side is going to match up with my reference face Okay, so let's say it's this one, that my beam, my tie beam is going to go in this spot. All right, that's how it's going to go. So what it means, this is my reference face right here. Okay, so I want to go in, get my, uh, as far as my square on it, on that side, and then do the same thing. Okay. So you want to just make sure that when you're getting this tool up, that you use that same reference face. Okay, if you need to, mark it. All right. So if you need to, go through and mark on these what's going to be your reference face. Okay. I do that and just put me an RF on it. That way I know that that's my reference face on this. And that's going to line up on this. However you want to do it is up to you. But that will ensure that when you go in and cut this tenon, and I cut that mortise, they're going to match up. That, that beam, that tie beam, is not going to be offset in any way from that post. All right, that's the easiest way to go through and cut these and not make any mistakes with regards to being off-center. Now, you can spend the extra time and really ensure that you get your markings and everything dead center. There's nothing wrong with that. I do that myself, but I still try to make sure that I use the reference face. That way, in case if I ever do make a mistake, everything's still going to line up because I've referenced off of the same edges that are going to match up so that when I do that cut, if there is an error one side or the other, it's going to match between the two of them. All right? Now, as far as planers, uh, I use a Triton 7-inch planer to plane mine. 
Uh, it'll do a seven and an eighth. It's about $250. I got mine from Home Depot. Um, COVID and everything, watch out, check as far as store stocks, but probably a little bit more, but I wouldn't expect it much. Very affordable. Uh, it's not a 12 inch Makita or Mafel, but those are $3,000. So on my bigger beams, I have to make two passes. I make one pass going down, make another pass on the other side to get you know over that seven inch width, but it works fine for me. All right, well, thank you. Have a good day.